Hey everybody, it's your man JC today, and I'm bringing you guys a brand new top 10 video. We haven't seen one of these in a while, and today we're going to be do the top 10 things we want in Destiny's full game release. Now, it's not exactly what we all want, it's more what I want, but I'm sure a lot of these things on this list you guys will agree with wholeheartedly, and you will definitely want in the full game. So without further ado, let's get into the list. And before we go to the list, guys, uh, the gameplay in the back says Destiny Crucible. Always expect that now, because I really... Unless it's some other kind of gameplay, I'll, I'll say it, but it's going to be Destiny Crucible from here on out. So, yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get into the list. Starting off, number 10, I said No Birth of Histories. Now, this one is particularly for me, because I got that legendary ship called the Birth of History. And for those of you guys who don't know, it looks like a piece of shit with jet engines on it. Like, it is the worst work looking ship I've ever seen. It's something like a redneck would have, because it looks like a pickup truck version of the ships. So, I don't want that. I don't want those in the game. I want them to be nice, sleek, slim-looking ships, because those ones look the coolest. Number nine, I had an emblem creator. And it'd be cool to have an emblem creator so you could have a little bit of diversity from all the players, because um, you, you, a lot of players can get the same emblems, and then it won't be as diverse as it could be. And I, it, you can still get emblems, because some are unique emblems, like the one that we'll get from playing beta. But... Other than that, I think you should be able to make some custom emblems that look kind of cool. And maybe as you buy new emblems, you'll be able to use the kind of shapes and stuff they use on those emblems to make new emblems, which I would think is pretty cool. At number 8, I said no day one patch. That just shows lazy working on Bungie's part. Uh, obviously, we don't want to see this because that means that they didn't put their whole heart and soul into this game. So that's a small one. Let's move on. Number 7, I put player housing. I want there to be some kind of place where you can hang out with your friends and you can get your own vendors and all that in your own house. I think that'd be kind of cool. Maybe that's what we'll see behind that door in the tower because I don't know because we haven't seen that door yet. And maybe it's going to be for something like that, player housing, which I would think is really, really cool. Maybe not a house, maybe like an apartment. That'd be nice. Number six, uh, have Peter Dinklage, who is your ghost, narrate Crucible. Not that fairy British dude. I'm getting sick and tired of that guy's voice. It is so annoying. I hate British people. Well, I don't hate British people. I, I hate this British pe person. If you know what I mean. Because his voice sucks. Just flat out sucks. Okay, I'm done with that. Moving on to number five. Number five, I put no bugs at all. I don't want to see a single bug in this game, period. Number four, I put no glitches. I don't want to see a single glitch in this game at all. Those ones need no explaining. Let's move on to number three. And number three, I want to put in a forge into this game, kind of like Halo, so you can make your own crucible maps, and maybe even make your own kinds of raids and strikes in the PvE world. I think that would be really cool, because obviously there should be the technology to do it. Maybe it's like a training session. I think it'd be really cool to put a forge in this game. Definitely think about that, Bungie. Number two, I put the third subclass. Now, obviously we see in the Destiny beta that we had another slot for another subclass where your subclasses were, if you paid attention to that. And that means we're going to have a third subclass, which nobody knows yet. Now, I don't know if this is going to be DLC, or if this is going to be something that you unlock once you beat the whole character that you're on. I don't know, but I'd like to see a third subclass showing up sometime in the full game release. Maybe it's, maybe it's something you buy for the DLC, which I think would be stupid, but oh well. We'll see what that happens out to be. And at number one, the most important thing they need to do for Crucible is better lag compensation because this game had it, it was not constant it wasn't bad all the time but it was really really bad at some times where you'd shoot at somebody and they kill you and then you they die five seconds after that which it's just it's just insane how bad that lag comp could be sometimes so they definitely need to fix that make it so it's always a good constant lag comp and never and seldomly bad at times so that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed this top 10 list Leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I got nothing else to say, so it's time to say, peace everybody!